Sketching Walls Soft plan is most effective when the design is roughly sketched on the screen. Soft plan's intuitive dimensioning and editing commands will be used later to quickly convert the design into a set of working drawings. To begin, right click and select Wall. Wall types will vary from region to region. However, the steps to drawing walls are the same. For this example, select the 2x6 brick wall to begin. The status bar will list the command selected, the tape measure to guide the length of the wall, the angle at which the wall is being drawn, and the type of wall being used. To begin, move the cursor to the upper left corner of the drawing area and click the left mouse button to mark the starting point of the wall. Move the cursor approximately 36 feet to the right. As this is only a sketch, precision is not important at this point. Click the left mouse button again to mark the end point of the brick wall. Move the cursor a short distance above the wall to indicate the exterior brick surface and click once more. SoftPlan will draw a 2x6 brick wall that is approximately 36 feet in length with a brick facing toward the top of the screen. Once the wall has been traced, its appearance can be reviewed in the 3D window. For the connecting wall, move the cursor down from the endpoint of this wall. SoftPlan will automatically use that endpoint as a start point for this next wall. Once again, using the tape measure as a guide, move the cursor down the screen to approximately 30 feet and click the button. SoftPlan will draw the wall, automatically aligning the materials brick to brick, stud to stud. Move the cursor to the left approximately 36 feet. When the crosshairs of the cursor are aligned with the start point of the first wall drawn, click the mouse. Complete the drawing by moving the cursor to the start point of the first wall and click. With the exterior walls closed to create the layout, SoftPlan automatically frees the cursor while maintaining the Draw Wall command. The four walls appear in the 3D window. To get a fuller view of the walls in the model, select the 3D Textured tab. Note the 3D view and 3D camera windows at the bottom of the navigation menu, which allow for the model to be viewed from various perspectives. Walls can also be drawn in 3D if desired. Select the Undo command from the toolbar, or hit the U key until the previously drawn walls have been removed. Select Draw Wall and then select the 2x6 brick wall type from the list. Left-click where the wall is to start. This action will cause the drawing grid to appear. The drawing grid will help with the wall placement. The green lines indicate that the wall is being drawn parallel to the drawing grid. Move the cursor approximately 36 feet and click to end the wall segment. Click on the side of the wall where the exterior is to be placed. Continue drawing the connecting walls until the house exterior is complete. Select the blue directional arrows located on the 3D view control. The model will be oriented such that the camera is positioned from that side of the model, looking down at a 45 degree angle. Once again, select another direction arrow and the 3D model will be rotated to that view. Additionally, the red circle located inside the outer ring of directional arrows can be selected to both rotate the model as well as to control the vertical incline at which the model will be viewed. The red circle could be thought of as a dome positioned over the model. The closer to the center that the red circle is clicked, the steeper the angle at which the model will be viewed. Furthermore, the bottom of the red circle is always representative of the perspective that is currently being viewed. Thus, if the red circle is clicked at the top, the model will be rotated to view the opposite side. 
If, however, it is clicked on the bottom, the view will only be slightly adjusted, regardless of whether it is the front or rear of the house that is currently on screen. Finally, the blue circle in the middle will generate the model looking from the top down. Select the directional arrow key to view the front of the model. The 3D camera control will allow for the view of the model to be panned either left or right or up and down by simply selecting the appropriate button. The plus and minus buttons zoom the model in or out respectively and the arrows will rotate the camera in the direction illustrated by the arrow. In addition to these commands, the mouse can also be used to navigate the model. By scrolling the mouse wheel, the model camera will be zoomed in or out in stepped increments. Finally, by clicking and holding the mouse wheel down and moving the mouse, the model can be orbited.